Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Y'all, at this point, I'm not even going to need to comb my hair as much as I have to do these bonnets and BS videos, honey. Why is Liv's life on the internet? After some very disturbing news came out about her begging for cash apps. Yep, she's begging for cash apps, saying that she was lied on, saying that her ex-husband asked his new woman to marry him at, despite just because he was trying to be mean to her. Like, he can't actually be in love and want to be with the woman, honey. The fact that people are cash apping this woman is even more disturbing because... Um, like I said, there was some very uh, disturbing information put out. Um, so what she did is put her other supposed child in the video making noise to try to prove that she has the ability to be with her children. And with that, um, she, um, started asking people, uh, to send money and to put the cash app up so they could send her money. I, I don't get it. I really don't get the internet sometimes. I don't get these people sometimes. Why are you sending money to someone who does not have custody of their children who make money off of the internet? And then how... Do these mommies uh, have YouTube channels with several thousand followers and can't make enough money to uh, have a savings account? How? how? Now, I'm new to, uh, uh, to Instagram. I'm, I'm new to being monetized. I have not even been monetized a month. Heck, I think I've been monetized for two weeks. And even with that, you know... I don't know. This is very disturbing. Are these people promoting abuse of children? Is that what this is? Are the what what is this? Like what is really going on here? That's what I need to know. What is really going on? I don't think anyone would make life-changing decisions for themselves just trying to hurt another person who is totally unrelated. I think that he realized that the uh, decision that he made years ago to try to make his thing work was not the ideal situation. And uh, it was a mistake. He came back and this uh, lovely woman decided to give him another chance. And she and he took it and made the absolute most of it. And she's on here denying everything. Although there is proof out there, she's denying all the abuse allegations. She's denying everything and she is um somehow finagled that into getting cash apps from her followers. They're sending her money to uh, do something in her house, like to, to fix the house up. She made a comment about um, yeah, I want this house to be nice. A nice home for my kids. Blah, blah, blah. I don't get it. I really don't. What do you guys think? Why do people send money to people who who are like this? What is it? Is it pity? Um, this person has caused harm to another person and you pity them enough to send them your hard-earned money that you pay for? Is that what we're looking at? I'm just trying to understand the the psychological uh, thought process of people that do things like that. I don't know. I definitely would not be uh, 
associating myself or trying to get closer to a person who has been accused of something that was kind of illicit. And I especially would not be trying to um, take care of them. Most people do come to watch the train wreck, but they don't usually pay for it if it's not a, a, a movie. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even getting no popcorn and a soda. What is wrong with people? I don't know, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Um, I don't know how many of you guys uh, watch uh, this channel, but it's a lot going on over there. I barely watch it because I can barely handle to, to watch. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. And be sure you like this video, comment below what you think, and if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, I do have other videos that will be coming today, and I hope that I see you there as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.